<laughs> Not much has been heard of the chairman of INEC, Professor Jega, since the successful conduct of the 2015 general elections two months ago. But in this gathering of vice chancellors from Nigerian universities, all attentions shifted to Professor Jega as he meets these professors, some of whom he engaged as the returning officers during the elections. Professor Jega told journalists what informed his choice of engaging vice chancellors during the polls. We know that anybody who has risen in the system and developed a career and became a vice chancellor um, will not for anything damage his or her reputation uh, by pandering to the wishes of politicians. So that's why we decided to make them returning officers and uh, we are very pleased that they have done this country proud. Professor Jigar also spoke about his plans after he leaves office as the INEC chairman. I'm looking forward to um, taking a leave and resting and then going back to my job in the university, teaching research and community service. For the Association of Vice Chancellors, however, it was time to set an agenda for the government on alternative means of funding the university system in Nigeria. We want to say that our educational system should be positioned for sustainable development. The, the way the economy is, the global economy generally is, it is very clear that government alone may not be able to sustain the educational system. And so we would like to encourage um, the government to network with all stakeholders to see how we can sustain education. Uh, what one we want to see is that uh, the, la the last government tried by adopting the needs assessment uh, policy to revamp uh, the investor education in the nation. We want to plead with this government to be able to keep faith with that so as to stem uh, uh, the, the kind of incessancy of uh, strikes and uh, uh, problems that that be uh, the, that before universities uh, when uh, agreements are not kept. Also, there be need to look for a mechanism for funding higher education in Nigeria. Some of these professors and vice chancellors in this gathering were instrumental in the process that brought this new government into office two months ago. It is hoped that the government will also work to improve the plights of their own constituency, which is the universities where they serve as vice chancellors.